Hello, everyone. Today I am going to be doing a scored review for Alphadia Neo's Damage Times 2 DLC. Now before I get into this review, please be sure to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this kind of content. Now back to the uh, scored review. Now this adds a tab in the system options which you can toggle on and off. I will show you a quick battle with the differences. But this DLC, while not needed, is actually beneficial, especially if you're playing on the higher difficulties. So as you see here, Alt does about 80 to 90,000 damage. Now to turn it on. And as you see, Alt did approximately 175,000 damage. Now, as good as this DLC is, it's not exactly necessary. Like I said, it is a decent DLC because it's useful through the entirety of the game, unlike the EXP and EMP DLCs, which are only useful till you max out your character. Now, this DLC, there is also in the secret room an option for uh, physical damage up and energy damage up up to a hundred percent so it's twenty percent per level which also increases the damage you deal with using in-game premium currency. Now this does, as I showed you, it stacks on top of that because that was on now this DLC does not add anything to the story, it doesn't add anything to the graphics, it doesn't add anything to the music or sound effects, it doesn't, and it, it does add the tab in the gameplay mechanics section of a review for a toggle on and off switch for the damage, so at least you have control over whether or not you have it turned on, and it also doesn't add anything to the uh, the achievements. So, on average, I rate a video game or DLC 5 out of 10, sorry, for average, and instead of the industry standard of 7 or 8, and this DLC is useful. So, I'm definitely scoring it higher than the other ones, so I'm going to give this a 4 out of 10. It's useful, but not necessary, so 4 out of 10, and you know, with all things gaming, game logic, am I right? I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe.